Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got a big royal tin here today. And we're going to do a couple things to it, but we're also going to take a look at it. An overall look at it. When it was dropped off, a lady said this was in her family her whole life. Grandmother bought it or something and a but she walks in and says, this is worth $250. And I says, she says she sees these for $250. And I says, well, not this one. First of all, it's missing the glass sides. Second of all, it's rusty. Third of all, it's poor, poor condition. Um, when I first came in, this return arm would not even function. I've already fixed that. And it's still binding a little. Take another look at that. But I got it. It wasn't working at all. But, you know, um, the carriage is grinding and squeaking. The main spring or the draw band is broken, so it's got no tension. Uh, the feed rollers here are flat. Right there. The front rollers are flat. It's not turning. There, it's flat right there. Um, I've already taken the screws off the guides here. Right? One ribbon spool is definitely wrong. Of course, it's upside down. And, uh, Thought this ribbon was wrong spool, but it turns out it's old school royal because it's got the mechanism on the bottom. Look at that. So this is pretty classic uh, ribbon. Let's take this out. I've already got these covers screwed. They're ready to come off. They're off. And of course they're filthy. The whole machine is just a disaster. Even inside of here, of course, it's got the corrosion really bad. And most of the type bars stick, stick, stick or stiff. So those all have to be attended to. It's probably just the pivots here, I hope. Um, key tops here are just a disaster. They're, they're caked on with the stuff that comes off them. See that? It comes off, but it's going to be time consuming to clean these up. She wanted to do this job for Forty-eight dollars, and I says no. So that would have to be done to each one of these, which, on the budget I'm on, on this is not going to happen. Of course, the condition is pretty bad on the paint. Even worse is the uh, feet down here. They're just completely gone. And they're just standing on these screws. And the bottom ones are even worse. <laughs> they're just pieces of nothing. Some rust on the rings here. You can see that in there. They're not broken, but they're, they're rusty. They're going to break, but they're okay. Right now, of course, there's cobwebs in here, more dirt in it, and uh, the rust and the condition is really poor. I have already uh, wire brushed most of this stuff up here, in the arms here, and the rail here, some part you can see, it was looking like that. I got most of that cleaned up. But Okay, that's the uh, overall condition of this is poor at best. And uh, first thing we're going to do is try to get this carriage to not squeak and 
not so rough. So let's do something here, a little proactive, and uh, I'm going to use my degreaser blacking center here, and we're going to get right in here on these uh, these wheels and these bearings right here. This is shaft right there. I'm gonna run that. I'm gonna also run it down the uh, down these rails here. So I'm gonna get it in there and run it. Same thing on this side. So let's get this down right down in there. Okay. feeling better. Alright, so now next is the red oil. And we're going to get this right on the ball. Right there. And we're going to hit these rollers right here. And there's another one right there. And then these guys back in here. some noise but uh, I don't know if uh, you can't really tell but when you feel it you can feel the grind now it's it's smooth
already got the covers off back here. So, main spring, I'm going to assume it's good. Let's do a little test run on it here and see if it's got some tension. Oh, yeah. Feels fine. This is what actually drives the ribbon right here, this gear. The carriage drives the ribbon on this machine, but it doesn't drive it. It's actually the draw band here that drives. So if you switch the ribbon around, you see when you move the draw band, the ribbon moves. So it's not necessarily the carriage, except for when the draw band is hooked up. But it's not hooked up, so. Okay, now with this Robin, we got a little lucky, and uh, this clip was still on there. So this portion of the draw band was all that was left was this and this clip. So we got lucky that this side we've got the factory clip for. The other side I don't have it. It's missing in action, but I have a, quite a collection of draw bands, and I found one. From a brand new, from I believe this is from an Adler from maybe the 70s, and it's already got a, a clip on this side that's going to work. I've already eyeballed this and tried it, so it's got a spot right here. See in the camera right there, but it's right there. This little piece right there. And this piece happens to, if we slide it on like that and twist it, it actually stays locked in place. And being this is such a big piece, I've already put it on here and pulled it through and made sure this wasn't interfering with anything, this piece. And it, it doesn't. So we're good to go with this draw band, but it needs to be modified still. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to modify it to work on this machine. So, first things first is to measure it. Now, I've already done that, actually. So I connected it over here, and I ran it through, and I want it to go about halfway down that main spring. So I spun it around and marked it right there. I marked it and gave it a little extra inch because we're going to fold it and put this piece in here right here. So let's do that on camera right here. We'll uh, go ahead and cut this right here. Like that. We're not going to use that. We're just going to use this. We're going to cut this piece out here on here, or eyelets, we're going to do the same thing on this one. I'm going to take some of these eyelets out of here. I thought I had a different batch of these. Yeah, let's try three of those. What side? So the sides are the same. We're just going to fold it around about like it was, right about there. And I'm going to run 
run this tool through here. So just keep those pieces straight. Center this up. Poke a hole through here. Hope it's in the center. It pretty much is. And we're gonna put this eyelet in here and compress it right on through. Hoops. in there. I'm going to squeeze this up. This is working, but I think, I think it's going to make it now. Tell you what. I don't trust that. Cool. I just got it to work. Alright. Well that was took a lot more time than I figured. Let's see if I can make this one shorter. I'm gonna do something else to it. I'm gonna take a, take a screwdriver here or a lighter. I'm gonna take this heat this up and I'm going to make this hole bigger as nylon so let's get this clip hot 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 run it right through here see that that made a hole and uh, that. So let's stick our tool through here and grab a fresh eyelet, run it through. There it is on the other side. That worked a little better. A little faster. Okay. That's good. Sorry that took so long. We'll just set some of the stuff aside. Come back to our project up here, and we're going to uh, we're going to run this cable band through. I think we want the, that side down, so the side up. So let's run this through, and we're going to grab it with our. Uh, tool here. We expand this out. And we'll run this through underneath the carriage. Right where the prop end should be. So it comes out right there and we're gonna hook it on. Pull it through. Just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. On this side, like I showed you before. Okay, so now it's connected. And all we can do is connect it to this piece. So we're going to preload this, turn it this way. of tension. I think that's enough and I'm going to stick this on a little fork thing, turn it, and let it take up the slack. There we go. So, I could have pre-wound the whole thing by just keep on spinning this and holding it with my finger, but it's got a, a tightener right here. So we can tighten that up. Depending on which way we uh, turn the screw, you can see the, shit, the worm screw turning this one, and this needs to be turning, tightening up 
turns that way. So you just need to turn the screw this way so you can see that gear turning and tightening up. So there's the gear and you can see it turning the way we want it, which is that way. So that's how you do that, but we're gonna we're gonna do this bead treatment on this and stick a drill on it. So it goes a little faster. Let me get my drill bit prepared. Let me see which way this wants to go. I forgot already. So this way. Tighten this up. So I can stick this screwdriver right on there like that. Oops. That bit is too uh too big. It's got some bits in it. Let's use that one. Let's see if we can get this to work. Turn this now. I'm going to turn this in about six turns. That sounds like my drill's running out of juice. Oh, there we go. So fast I've been manually turning it. Okay, let's see this tension here. Oh yeah, it feels good. Let's see. Okay. Feels good. You just have to kind of go by feel on that, how tight the carriage feels. Uh, you don't really want to bottom out these springs. That feels pretty tight. Alright, we should have action here. it. So that's how you do a draw band on this. Like I said, it's connected. Pretty good right there. It's got a good, uh, good spot. All right. And the carriage feels good. Just gotta fix these sticky keys. That one's stuck halfway, but. Okay, so that was it. Main spring is good. Draw band is repaired. I'm working this return just a little more. That's a bind. It's a slight. Oh. It's catching on the, uh, I see it already. It's catching on this little screw. If I move this over just a little bit, it doesn't bind. It's catching right on this screw right there. See that? So if I move this over it doesn't bind pretty minor detail I figured that out oops let's just try to bend this over a little bit ok 
Okay, well, that's good enough. Straighten that lever out a little bit. I don't like, I don't like when these levers are slightly bent even. Okay, that's it for now. We've still got a lot to do on this machine. Get it all working right. But, Phoenix typewriter, good day.